All right, guys, how are you doing today? Thank you very much for joining on this one. Now, we're going to quickly look at some sort of um, a disagreement between the three major parties, three major political parties in Nigeria, um, which is APC, PDP, and the Labour Party. Quite frankly, the Labour Party is actually making waves, and a lot of people statistically have been moving from the Labour Party uh, sorry, we're moving from these two front parties, the APC and the PDP, they've all been moving to the Labour Party because Labour Party is more or less like a movement. Now, there's been some sort of a disagreement and a debate between the representatives and the spokespersons of these three uh, top parties, you know, and the representative for the APC is Mr. Felix Moka. Um, that of the PDP, Senator Dilo Menaye, and that of the Labour Party's Barista Kenneth Okonko, they have come live, you know, to talk to you about uh, th their disagreement. You know, so to me, it's, it's, it's so sad that we still have people who will still tell you, you know, that APC have done tremendously well under the administration of the current president. Uh, it's, it's, it's really crazy. It's so sad. I can't, I can't really picture it. I can't place my face. I can't place my heart. I can't place my mind on people who will still believe that this current administration have done tremendously well. You know, when you look at statistically, pick it from the lowest of food substances, food commodities, food items. You know, when you look at the price from 2014 to date, look at the dis look at the difference between the price. Look at the difference. Look at look 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 at look at the difference. So you will see not only food, when you look at security, when you look at electricity, when you look at edu education, when you look at um, what's it called, when you look at uh, health, when you look at uh, academics, when you look at different kinds of things, you see that it is zero. I'm going to allow you to watch this clip, you know, one after the other, because I'm going to place the what the APC person has to submit and what the PDP uh, representative has to submit and what the Labour Party representative has to submit. You'll be very shocked that these two parties, the Labour Party and the PDP, actually spoke the same way. If they are spoken together, that will have been okay. Maybe it's because of that. But the two of them actually kicked against APC. And let's be very honest with ourselves. This is not politics. Let's be honest. Let's be realistic. You know, if you're going to be sincere with yourself, if you are supporting, if you are believing that APC has done tremendously well, look at how much you bought a bag of rice in 2014. Look at how much it is today. Look at how much you're able to travel from one point to another. You know, look at how much is it today. Look at your safety from one point to another in 2014. Look at your safety, the level of your safety in 2015 and tell me if APC has done well. Yes, we understand that, you know, issues happen. We, we see different kinds of issues in different administrations, but this one seems to be the worst. I'll be very frank with you. I'll be very serious with you. I mean, during the past administration, a bag of rice was still about 8,000, 6,005, depending on which, which area you're buying it. But now a bag of rice is 53,500. Look at the marginal, look at the huge difference. So when you look at it statistically like that, you will agree with me that no, <laughs> it's not a good, it's not, it's not, it's not a joke. I'm going to release the video for you guys to watch. Just take your time to listen to them one after the other and pick your point from it. You're supposed to share this content, like it. If you've got your opinion, please leave it in the comment section for us. Let others see it. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. And if this is your first time, please trust us possible to support us on this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and open the notification bell icon on the side. The essence is that you will know, you will be notified anytime we drop a new clip. This is politics, this is election era, there's a lot to talk about. We talk to you a lot about politics, uh, general lifestyle, economy, education, health, and different kinds of things. And until next time when I'll be seeing you, please. Please take your time to enjoy the rest of this video and I'll be seeing you the next one. Bye. I think history will judge Mr. President uh, Muhammad Buhari very generously for his work, for his steadfastness, for his really truly transformative interventions in the governance of this country across uh, all sectors. Uh, over the last seven years, nearly eight years. Uh, this president has done more than any other individual president has done since you know, the inauguration of our current na uh, national democracy 
1999. No other president compares with the amount of dedication of accomplishments that this president has demonstrated uh, over these last few years. You know, I mean, look, it's we are, we are in an election season and it's easy for anyone, any individual, any group of persons or even political parties uh, to try to uh, deride or uh, diminish the accomplishment of this president. But the fact remains, uh, undisputably, that if you take the time to look at the figures and look at the, the data and the actual blow-by-blow -blow account of the record of work of this president in all sectors, and I say in all sectors of our national life, um, if you do that with any modicum of objectivity, you will find and conclude that this individual, who is our president, has done an enormous amount of work. And now, if you, if you like, I mean, I can go into a lot of that detail, but, you know, I, I leave that up to you, if you want that. I'm already on a Christmas mood. I wouldn't have really loved to use this opportunity to be talking about this. Let me say Merry Christmas to everybody and I wish you a prosperous New Year. If you listen to the prose that the APC spokesperson or publicity secretary just did, it's just a prose. He talked about his government doing well, no figures. He boasted about, oh, this and that, no statistics. We are tired of being bamboozled with proses. We want actualities. Let me help him with the statistics. And I'm going to be very conversational with it. I will start with the television that we are watching. APC government promised us that before they finish, we'll be watching digital television. They failed. They said they will give us Nigerian air. Eh, that will take the place of Nigerian Airways after the fifth attempt and after spending billions of Naira, they failed. They said they are going to take 100 million persons out of poverty. They ended up taking in 133.3 million persons into poverty. They have been busy building pyramids of poverty consistently. They said they were going to, you know, give us one naira to a dollar. And they are ending up giving us a thousand naira to a dollar. They met an inflation mm. figure of about 9%. Today we have about 20-something percent. All these infrastructure purportedly built, we are all built on borrowed money. And none was creatively adopted to produce any revenue none meaning that for giving us second niger bridge you have taken the next generations into bondage of debts and you know they want to situate the debts to the gdp what a fraud and they will mention statistics of advanced countries saying that they borrowed this to their gdp GDP is the total of the products and services produced in a country in a year. So when you want to situate your debts to GDP, you have to be a productive country. Not a country that is producing nothing. And you're talking about GDP. Right. That is why their revenue can no longer service okay. their debts. So this Great. government of APC has failed. And the most honestly annoying thing is that rather than even trying to get a successor that might even ameliorate the problem they now made a choice of a candidate that does not even understand i want to advise uh, my brother felix that um, the gargantuan colossal lie he just told i advise that he apologized to god almighty and if he is a Christian, he should read Psalm 55 and ask for mercy. And if he's a Muslim, he should tonight do 1,000 uh, stagger to ask God for mercy. In a very civilized 
um I'm sorry, Ngozi, I'm sorry. My my, my apology, Ngozi. Uh, my my and again, if 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 um I, I will advise that um he listens to his elders because I know that his community, his traditional rulers will summon him to a village meeting for saying for telling this public lie. I haven't said that. I want to congratulate President Buhari for turning 80. And my prayer is that the Almighty God will grant him long life, will give him sound health, and I wish him well. But to talk about the APC-led administration under President Muhammad Buhari, I will say in the economy, F9, power, F9, agriculture, F9, security, F9, infrastructure, F9, in fact, F9 parallel. That is what the Buhari administration have given to Nigerians. I don't even need to go into statistics and being scientific. Practical illustration. A bag of rice in 2014 was 8,500. Today it's 45,000 now. Just yesterday, people were fly flying from Abuja to Lagos for a 120,000 naira economy. How much is a loaf of bread today? From 120 naira, a loaf of bread today is over a thousand naira. There is no poor man's food. Gari is no longer a poor man's food in Nigeria today. Insecurity is pervasive. When Buhari took over power, he promised three million jobs per year. In at the expiration of his eight years today, three times eight, we are supposed to have generated 24 million jobs but no instead over 50 million people have now joined the unemployment market so there is no sector of our national life that the buhari administration or the apc have done well he will be leaving behind is now if in 2023 he conducts a free fair election then he will leave one legacy and that will be the only legacy so it is not correct for the president himself to say yesterday that he tried his best but his best was not good enough that's a confessional statement that is self-acceptance of failure he agreed the president agreed that i have failed because he said his best was not good enough in every ramification today in this country this government have failed we are more disunited than even during the civil war the unity of this country is more important than the economy and other. But today, there is no unity in this country. There is, I mean, agitation in every part of Nigeria. There is poverty all over our faces. From the greatest, the, 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 the fastest growing economy in Africa, we have become the poverty capital of the world. So what I'm saying in essence is simple. That the APC have brought nothing other than pain, sorrow, death, insecurity to this country. And Let me no bring in uh, Felix. Nigeria. You Felix cannot, Ka. that is why I sympathize, that's why I sympathize with Felix, because you cannot speak about APC without looking stupid.